Hello, everyone, and welcome to Opera Property Management System Training. Today, we're going to go over the Opera Quick Keys. What are Quick Keys? Quick Keys are created to allow users ways of quickly accessing various menus and functions throughout Opera. We have a Quick Key menu. We can access that Quick Key menu by either going to the Word Miscellaneous or if you like to use the icons, we can go to the miscellaneous icon and cl click on the button for show quick keys. This is a list and a menu of all the Opera quick keys. F1 is Opera help. So if you press F1, it takes you to the Opera help, Opera knowledge space screen. The user can navigate to any function of Opera they do not understand and select the F1 key. Opera will bring up detailed information about that function. The F3 key. The F3 key is the available room search. The user can pull up a list of all available rooms and the status of those rooms. The F5 key is the rate query. This function allows the user to look up rates and availability. F7. F7 is the new reservation cross-selling screen. This function allows the user to create a new reservation from Opera. If the multi-property license code is active, then F7 will take the user to the cross-selling screen. F8. F8 is the logout. This is used to lock the user's screen without logging out of Opera completely. To unlock the screen, the user will need to re-enter the user ID and password. If one user locks their screen, then another user can still unlock the screen using their own user ID and password. The shift key plus F1. This is called the occupancy graph. The user can select this function to see a graphical representation of occupancy for seven days out. The user can also change the start date to see the occupancy for a week in the future. Shift F2 is the control panel. This is a display screen that gives statistics about a hotel's inventory, occupancy, and availability. The user is able to see multiple days out and can see other screens such as group blocks, wait list, and turnaways. Shift F3. Shift F3 is the house status screen. This function allows the user to see arrivals, departures, occupancy percentage, housekeeping room status. Shift F5. Shift F5 is the floor plan. This is a function within Opera where the user can see a layout of rooms both for lodging and meetings. The floor plan also displays housekeeping statuses by colors and lets the user know if the room is occupied by displaying a stick figure person in that room. Shift F7. Shift F7 is the telephone book. This function allows the user to create important contacts for the hotel, such as reservations, restaurants, and transportation. The user can also view and print these contacts.
Shift F8. Shift F8 is the interface menu. This allows the user to access various interfaces, such as the room key system. For example, the user could use Shift F8 to create a new room key for a guest. Control F1. Control F1 is show keys. This displays available opera functions in a list. Control F2 is the detailed availability screen. This displays a hotel's particular room type availability for multiple days. Control F3 is the room plan. This displays all rooms and shows what reservations are occupying rooms or will be occupying them during a future date. User can also drop and drag in order to move the reservation from one room to another. Control F4. Control F4 is the dashboard. This is a multifunction screen in Opera that allows the user to look up a reservation, check in and out a guest, create a new reservation, create a walk-in, and access the billing screen. Control F7. Control F7 is the telephone operator. This is a function that would be used for the PBX department. The user can view arrivals, stayovers, and departures. The user is also able to see any messages and traces on the reservations. Control F8. Control F8 is maximum availability. This function displays the maximum and minimum rooms available for so the selected business date. For example, a hotel may have 20 kings in inventory, so the minimum available rooms would be 20. The max availability would then be how many rooms a hotel allows over booking for. Some additional quick keys. When you're in a reservation, are highlighted on a reservation. If you do the control T, enhanced options management is another way of quickly accessing options without selecting the options button to open the options menu itself. You can press control T to display the blue option field in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. To view all the available options in alphabetical order, scroll through the option list by selecting the up and down. Press enter to select the displayed option and open the corresponding option screen. Control T brings it up down in the left hand corner here. Or instead of scrolling through the option list, type the first three letters of the desired option. The corresponding option screen appears. For example, type in C A N for cancel. You may also enter the first letter of the desired option, and all options beginning with that letter will appear in alphabetical order as you scroll. Control T, press A for add on, it just scrolls through. For example, if you typed A, 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 
you might scroll through the options of accompanying, add-on, agent, alerts, press enter to the open the desired option. So if we type A, 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 we get everything starting with A. And then you press enter to open the desired option. Control plus U is the clear field screen. So I'm on the reservation screen. I'm in the field for title, and I do a control U, and it clears out the title field. Shift plus the control plus page, page down, it tells you what form you're on. So I'm on the rate code. I do a shift control page down. And it takes me to the form details screen. Where my cursor is, the field that I'm on is called rate underscore code. The tab will take you to the next field. So whatever field you're in, you hit your tab key, it will take you to the next field in Opera. The shift plus tab will take you to the previous field. So if I do shift, tab, it takes me to the previous field. Tab takes me to the next field. Shift tab takes me back one field. This concludes the quick key training.